Hi, Scope readers. In this issue, you are going to meet a remarkable teenage girl named Bilan. Bilan is a refugee, and she wanted to share her story with you. My name is Bilan Wilson Ali. I'm 15 years old. I come from Mogadishu in Somalia. I live in Kogo refugee camp in Ethiopia. Bilan is from Somalia. Decades of war, violence, and famine have made Somalia a difficult and dangerous place to live. Because of this, hundreds of thousands of Somalis have been forced to flee their homes. Many have crossed into neighboring countries like Kenya and Ethiopia. In 2015, Bilan became one of them. Around the world, 26 million people have been forced to flee their homelands because of war, violence, famine, or persecution, like Bilan. These men, women, and children who have had to leave their homes to save their lives are known as refugees. But what happens after they leave? Where do they go? Some refugees, including Bilan, live in places called refugee camps. Refugee camps are intended as temporary places for refugees to live. The camps also provide food, water, and medicine. Bilan lives in a refugee camp in Ethiopia called the Kobe Camp. Bilan, her mother, and her siblings live in one of the camp's bamboo shelters. Here, Bilan and her family cook and eat their meals, play games, and sleep. This is my bedroom. When Bilan is not at home with her family, you might find her in class at Kobe Secondary School, where she is in tenth grade. This is my classmates, and this is my teacher. The subject is that we are learning this subject. For many refugee children, education is one of their hardest won assets. Only 23% of adolescent refugees are enrolled in school. Kobe School isn't just helping Bilan learn. She's made friends here too. In their free time, she and her friends like to play volleyball together, or go to their favorite shops at the camp's market. This is my barber shop. Bilan has important chores to do too. Every day, she must walk to the camp's well and collect water for her family to drink. Bilan must also travel outside the camp to collect firewood for her family to cook with. The Kobe camp has been Bilan's home for four years, and like many refugees living in camps, Bilan is uncertain when she will be able to leave. But that has not stopped Bilan from planning for her future. One day, Bilan hopes to attend college in Canada or the United States. My dream or my future plan is to be a doctor. That is why I wanted to choose University of Canada or USA. To learn more about Bilan and her world, open your September issue of Scope and read "I Live in a Refugee Camp."